okay? I'm not trying to be picky, but seriously, now do you call this a centerpiece? I'm sorry, ma'am. The request form said it would be a Puritan-themed display. It wasn't a lot more specific. <sighs> look at that. Just look at it. You call that Puritan. There's plastic in that. You think there was plastic anything when they landed on Plymouth Rock? Well, I didn't think it needed to be that precise. No, you didn't think too hard about any of this, did you? Mm. Authentic Puritan is organic, rustic, yet tasteful. It says Salem. This whole wedding says Salem. It's a statement of pride. Don't you have any pride for this town? Actually, I'm from Weymouth. My family, not my husband's Irish family, but my family, the Winslows. We go all the way back to the Pilgrims. We settled in Salem in the 1600s. We invented Thanksgiving. Can't wait till this one is over. I think I just found the only real witch in Salem. Where do they get their help? Just no respect for history anymore. This would never happen in my kitchen. They want excellent food under these conditions? Those then? Oh, yes, sir. Just regular maintenance. These things are big enough for small animals to go hiking in. So we just have to make sure none of the little critters get trapped in there. Well, what happens then? You probably don't want to hear about it in the food preparation area. It can get smelly. Maybe that's why they use incense, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're quite the fairy tale. They weren't high school sweethearts, you know. Everyone thinks they were, but they just seem like they've been in love forever. But they met right after college. Total chance thing, 30 year old. I was hoping he'd meet a nice Irish girl in Dublin, but he met Shelley down in New York. And she's from Boston. He travels thousands of miles across the freaking ocean to meet the love of his life, who lives right down the road. Kind of a ship of even fate. Like they were just meant to meet him. That's great. Really great. You follow football? I, I don't just mean pats. I mean local tribes. It's not my fault. My kid's great. But this guy would love to see my boy play football. Not even listening. Well, this guy shut up. Shoot, cat, get out of here.
Jurassic hats, which is pretty fun. That's the last fight, I think. Yeah, I'm up here now. Where do I go now? That's the... Maybe on the tree. Need to find the... Proper... Go for the attic. Maybe... Okay, I think it's up there. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? me again I'll, I'll you have no right to jump your unfinished business Hold on. on me now, I'm tracking down my killer okay someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago and if wait a minute you, you can see me and hear me <laughs> You're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you anything. You owe me. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you is horrible and you you saved my life so what do you want i was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place so why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. 
invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is? Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. Looking for your mom. What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Respectable living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book, and it's in her handwriting. Bell Killer book? If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? So where's your mom, kid? Probably... dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word. Never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom. But I can't live in one place for too long, or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. <laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong, you saved my life, and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but your problems are your problems, and mine are mine. Uh, there they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Whoa, wait a minute! Don't go yet! Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead! I'll handle it, just... Leave me alone! I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down. I can't lose track of the witness. She's the only one who can help me find the bell killer. Mm -hmm.